Hey there, in today's video I'm going to share a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to apply a major weight in real time to an existing production database in AWS RDS without any downtime, issues or even fear. I'm going to do it live with no cuts in the video, so let me start by sharing my screen. The first thing I will do before explaining anything else is go to the snapshot list and select the more recent one, which is this one. I'm going to restore it. This will create a temporary database from the backup where I will perform the upgrade first before touching production to detect any issues in advance. In my computer, I have already run some basic tests on this version and the code works fine. So we can go ahead with the next step. For this case, we don't need a multi-IC database, even if the production one is multi-IC. A single instance is enough for testing. Let me give it a name, progress upgrade test, and choose a similar but a smaller instance class, which is T4G micro, for instance. Okay, the rest is, is the same. Is creating the test environment now. So you might be wondering why take this approach. First of all, if we apply the upgrade directly to the production database and there are any issues like missing custom function or any upgrade error, we we'll risk downtime. We might even need to restore a backup which could affect to the app and the users and that's what I want to avoid. Even if it's a multi-IC database, and this one actually is Ghostboard.io production database with uh, real customers, multi-IC only helps with high ability. If the primary instance fails, it's replaced by a standby one, and a new standby is created in a few minutes. That prevents downtime, but not necessarily performance issues during the upgrade. So I prefer to test upgrade first on a restore snapshot using a similar stance type. It doesn't need to be powerful, just the same family. Right now, RDS is spinning up the test database from the latest snapshot with the same version as production. And once it's up and running, I will apply the upgrade. That way, production remains untouched and will not suffer any interruption. Once it's up and running, I will apply the upgrade. That way, production remains untouched and will not suffer any interruption. And since we will use the test database only for a few minutes, I not worry about the cost. Okay, it's ready. Let's apply the major upgrade. Version 69. And that's all. Apply immediately. Okay, let's hit apply. And let's see, it should take a few minutes. Let's check why it's available and not updating it. I selected apply immediately, right? Um, let's see, pending modification. Oh, now it's upgrading. Yeah, I see. It's upgrading now. It took a moment to start, but that's okay. All right, now we wait and, and see what happens. If it goes smoothly or if we run into any issues. If everything is fine, I will delete the test database and apply the upgrade to the production one. We need to wait a, a few minutes. Okay, I think I'm going to cut the video here and continue when it's done. So I save you some time. Hey, it's done. It took about 12 minutes or so. 
So let's check it out. No issues detected. I think it's fine. So we can delete. Let's write the confirmation and disable the final snapshot and any backup for this instance, which we don't need, and enable this one to proceed with the. Okay, so it's deleted. Now let's go ahead and upgrade the production database. 16.9 and that's all. Apply immediately. Let's go. Maybe you are wondering what if we had found an issue? Honestly, I rarely run into problems, but in other projects, especially those using custom functions, plugins, or extensions, our ways aren't always smooth. In those cases, even restoring a snapshot doesn't work. What I had to do was create a new database from scratch with the Tiger version and migrate all the data and function manually. And with manually, I mean SQL scripts containing the create database and insert statements. But that's right, most of the time it's pretty straightforward. Another important thing to remember is the version release calendar. I'm using Progress, but MySQL or other engines, I guess, have similar life cycles. You can check the AWS or the official database websites to see when each version will be replicated. That way, you can plan upgrades ahead of time. For example, Progress version 16 is support until February 2029. I will include the links to the AWS RDS documentation and the progress release schedule in the description below. Let's check on the production upgrade. Is it still is it still running? So I think we can skip again to save you some time. Okay, let's check on the production. Let's confirm if everything is okay. Oh my god, production is down. <laughs> Just kidding. Looks like everything is working. Website is up. Let's open the dashboard and the status page. Response time increased a little for a while, but it's fine. Everything is good. So I will keep an eye on it closely, but I think we are good to wrap up here. So for watching, I hope this helps someone, somewhere, somehow. Please like this video and subscribe to follow me. See you in the next video. Take care.